determine whether the sequence converges or diverges. So basically that means that we're going to take the limit as n goes to infinity. And if we get a number as an answer, we'll say it converges. If we don't, then we'll say it diverges. So let's start by taking the limit. Now, to take, to take this limit, we're going to use log because see, there's an n here and there's one here. So it's a good strategy to try to bring this down. And so in order to bring it down, um, you take the log. So let's take the log of both sides like this. It's a popular strategy. So ln 1 plus 2 over n to the 1 over n. So step 1, take the log of both sides. If you're wondering how I knew to do this, just practice. You know, you see a lot of problems like this where you have exponents here. Um, it's a good strategy. Now you can bring this down. So we have the natural log of a sub n equals uh, 1 over n times the natural log of 1 plus 2 over n. And now we'll take the limit. So let me switch colors here. This is the limit. As n approaches infinity of the natural log of a sub n, I'll throw a parentheses in there, make it look a little bit better. And this is the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n times the natural log of 1 plus 2 over n. I'm going to make a small adjustment here in how this is written. Um, it's it's going to seem silly, but it just makes a little more sense for the next step. I'm going to write this like this. Just like this. This is a little bit better. Okay. Just so you see that the n is on the bottom, right? Because we're taking the limit, so we want to want to compare growth rates. So in the numerator, uh, what's happening is you get the natural log of 1, which is 0. So the top is approaching 0. And the bottom is getting big, big right? It's approaching infinity. Uh, this piece here is approaching 0, by the way. That's why we get ln of 1, which is 0. So the bottom is getting big. The top is approaching 0. So this is just 0. So we've shown, we've shown that um, this is equal to 0. So we've shown that the limit, or rather that ln of a sub n, approaches 0 as n approaches infinity. That's what we've done, right? Because we took this limit and we got 0. So if you exponentiate, so if you do this, and you can do this, by the way, because e to the x is a continuous function. No one ever talks about it, but that, that's why this works, okay? Um, that's why we can do this. What happens here, right? We get a sub n approaching 1. Well, what is a sub n? a sub n was our original sequence. a sub n was 1 plus 2 over n to the 1 over n. And so you see it approaches 1. So we got 1 as an answer. We got a number, so that means the sequence converges. And the limit is 1. And I want to emphasize this step here. This is a critical step that most people um, don't understand. So we showed, let me just go one more time. We showed it's equal to 0. That means that the ln of this approaches 0. Therefore, e to the ln of that approaches e to the 0, but then these cancel because they're inverse functions. So you get a sub n approaching 1. But what's a sub n? It's what we started with. So very, very important recurring idea uh, in the study of calculus. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.